When the Iraqi woman handed the boy the 2kg3 grenade, it shows how much she hates the American army as the aggressor. However, at that moment, the sniper decisively pulled the trigger of the sniper rifle. The woman cried and looked at the boy, then picked up the grenade again and threw it out. Sniper pulls trigger again to kill woman. But this was Kyle's first combat mission as a Navy SEAL. The deaths of women and children lingered with him, but that's the cruelty of war. After that, Kyle began his legendary career. At this point, he has been squatting here for more than 20 hours and cannot relax for a minute. Even peeing needs to be done on the spot. That's what a sniper does. On the battlefield, you never know when and how the enemy will appear. Sometimes the enemy is a sudden drive-by. A suicide bomber. When ground forces can't stop it, we need a sniper shot to the head at this very moment. The enemy could just be a random passerby. When he pulls the bomb out of his bag, the sniper kills him immediately. Or the enemy suddenly rushed out with an agma assault rifle. And the sniper had to take it down immediately. Constant vigilance is designed to protect your team from all kinds of threats. He's like a killing machine, but it's his job. Teammates inform Kyle that the operation is over. Ask him how many enemies he's killed today. And Kyle says eight. His teammates were shocked when he said that. And from that day on, Sniper Kyle became a legend in the army. Chris Kyle was applauded and cheered by everyone for his victory that day. He was the deadliest sniper in US military history. He is the most prolific sniper in the history of the United States with 255 kills. It also has a record of taking the enemy's head from 1920 meters away, which makes people lag behind. And his shooting ability is closely related to his innate shooting talent. His father also instilled in him the value of using violence to protect his loved ones. It made him grow up to be a cold straight man. After seeing the attack on the American embassy, he resolutely signed up for the most selective SEAL training. He's gonna be the best soldier he can be. After extremely brutal training and assessment, he entered the sniper training course. While others are shooting quietly, Kyle can easily hit the snake that blends with the environment. Eventually, with his amazing shooting talent, he was selected as a Navy SEAL. Kyle then drinks at a bar and meets a woman named Talia who makes him fall in love. They liked each other and soon fell in love. On the day of their wedding, he was called to the war in Iraq. In order to realize the revenge of serving the country in his heart, he said goodbye to his new wife and went to the war in Iraq. Kyle then gets another assignment to help the Marines capture or kill a terrorist leader. After arriving at the target site, Kyle has always occupied the high ground. Armed with an S-225 shooter rifle, he was on cover duty. But just then, something happened that Kyle, who always met violence with violence, could not bear. As a Navy SEAL sniper ace, teammates say that there is an enemy sniper who scares the US Army may be better than him. And he's talking about a sniper who competed in the Olympics. And then it turns out, what my teammates are saying is not out of thin air. The first Marine in charge of searching the base was quickly carried out under sniper fire. Apparently competitive. He couldn't stand down. And he immediately got up to join the Marines. Then Tara struck his helmet twice. And with a blow the breaker broke the door open. He immediately took the S-225 rifle to check the room. But there was only a child and an old man in the house. Then in the conversation with the old man learned that as long as you find the hound, you can find the enemy leader. Seeing the eager American soldiers, the old man said that he needed to get a reward of $150,000. Only then was he willing to expose the enemy's hideout, which was confirmed by the command center. The next day, Kyle and the Marines came to the old man's house with the reward money. But while Kyle was on the phone with his wife Talia, the enemy, already armed with a sniper rifle, immediately shot the driver of the mine-armored vehicle. The gunman immediately took cover with machine guns. And then the out-of-control armored vehicle crashed into the rubble and stopped. On the other side of the Talia heard gunfire has collapsed. At this time the team immediately evacuated under cover. But the enemy once again gave the machine gunner a precise shot in the head. And the team members with 150,000 cash were also shot immediately. By this time Kyle had taken refuge in a house with another member of the team. He immediately found a car rearview mirror. Trying to find the sniper's position. However, the enemy spotted the situation and shot it straight away. Kyle had no choice but to throw smoke grenades and evacuate. And after waiting for a while, he immediately entered the next room and ran to the second floor. At this time, however, the enemy has been driven into madness by the betrayal of his fellow countrymen. And he holds down the old man's grandson with an electric drill. Asked what the old man said to the US Army, trying to save the Kyle has been pinned down by the enemy. Hearing the child's screams, he tried several times to come out and shoot. However, 
he was forced back several times by the sniper rifle in the hands of the enemy. And finally the children and the elderly were brutally killed by the enemy leader. In this way, an entire squad of American soldiers was beaten badly by an enemy. Angry Kyle took the M4A1 to vent his emotions. From this moment on, Kyle sees the sniper leader as his ultimate goal. Then Kyle took his first vacation. After returning home, his wife gave birth to a son, but all the joy was broken by a news on television. Turns out the enemy leader posted a video of himself shooting a soldier on the internet and broadcast it on television in the face of blatant provocation. Then again in Iraq, this time he formed a rapid action team. The goal is to capture the sniper leader. That night, they acted on intelligence and moved tactically to a residential building. The moment the door was broken, the team members immediately controlled the personnel inside the house, but there was no trace of the enemy leader here. Only a family of ordinary civilians, faced with these armed American soldiers. The host prepared a big dinner for them to entertain. While the man was catching up on his children's homework, Kyle was alarmed by his unintentionally exposed arm, because he knew that only a sniper lying on the ground for a long time with his gun in the position would leave a mark here. Kyle then excused himself to urinate in the room looking for clues when he apparently felt the floor empty beneath him. When the carpet was lifted, there was a button hidden underneath. But inside was a large number of weapons and equipment. Under the threat of the American army team, the man agreed to lead them to find the residence of the enemy leader. The man then stopped at a building and knocked on the door. Just as the Iraqi opened the door, the squad sprang into action, not expecting the man to pick up the assault rifle and hit. Then under the cover of a grenade, SEAL team then rushed into the building to implement the quick clearance, leading the team a probe with a rifle to kill the enemy immediately. Just as they saw the terrible scene, the enemy leader took the opportunity to escape through the secret tunnel. The team members immediately went out in pursuit. The enemy, who heard the shots, swarmed out of the rooms and tried to escape the fear. There was a fierce exchange of fire. At that moment, an enemy with a rocket launcher on his shoulder fired a shot at Kyle's position. Meanwhile, the enemy leader has successfully boarded the vehicle and is ready to escape. Kyle, who was awake, immediately gave chase, and the M401 fired a series of shots at the car. But then an Iraqi woman picked up her phone. It turned out that the man who had just been killed was only a substitute for the enemy leader. A few months later, Kyle went home again on leave after giving birth to a daughter. But now he is having a hard time fitting into life. The long war had left him grumpy, his wife increasingly intolerant of being around people while she was in Iraq. Kyle then went to battle for the third time. This time, Digger, who had been his partner, was shot by a secret enemy and died on the spot shortly after. Kyle immediately realized that the enemy leader was not dead. He was challenging himself. Then many SEALs with armored personnel carriers to lead the attack began to take revenge. Suddenly a green car rushed out, and an enemy shot a rocket at once, but it missed. And then the heavy machine gun went into kill mode. Several Sea Panthers quickly entered the enemy's house in the form of tactical positioning. But the enemy did not find anything. As the men with machine guns left the room, this impulse again cost Kyle dearly. After attending the funeral of his comrades, his wife Talia gave Kyle two choices, divorce or discharge, and the heart of both the ambition to serve the country, but also want to kill the enemy to avenge his comrades Kyle is once again chose to return to the battlefield. A terrorist carrying a rocket launcher directly aimed at the front of the Humvee. Kyle immediately hands sniper rifle. Killed one shot. When one of the children ran to the ground to try to pick up the rocket launcher, Kyle realized in horror that the boy was trying to pick it up. But the boy struggled to pick it up. And just as Kyle was about to pull the trigger, the boy eventually dropped the bazooka and ran away. Soon Kyle was given another assignment. American engineers building the wall were repeatedly killed by a sniper. Kyle's mission is to set up a sniper rifle, find him and kill him. Apparently the sniper was the enemy leader. A terrified American engineer is still going to get shot. When he heard the gunshots, Kyle knew he was on his right. Using his rangefinder telescope, Kyle learned that the enemy leader was 1,920 meters away from him. His teammates rushed to remind Kyle that he was too far away to hit. And it's an enemy territory, so if you shoot it, it explodes. It would take 20 minutes for a rapid reaction force to get here, but this might be the only chance to avenge the deaths of their comrades. With his teammates' permission, Kyle pulled the trigger decisively. The ghost sniper, who has been terrorized by the US Army, was shot in the head. However, Kyle's gunshot blew up the entire SEAL team, and the enemy began to storm the area. Once again, the two sides engaged in a fierce gun battle here. 
At the same time, the team evacuated to the roof one after another, but faced with more and more enemies on the roof. Continuous attack. The team was busy returning fire only to find that there was little ammunition left. In order not to be pulled into the streets by the enemy, the captain immediately called the helicopter to cover the building where the team was located. The last Cobra attack helicopter, flying into the target area against the approaching dust storm, and Kyle made one last call to his wife. At this point, due to poor visibility, the rocket fired by the Cobra helicopter missed the target building. At this time, the sandstorm has covered the entire building, and all the players immediately took the opportunity to break through the pipeline. Finally, the quick reaction force arrived in time to get the team out of danger. Not only did Kyle overcome post-military traumatic stress syndrome, there is also a special rehabilitation program for veterans with the disease. Please subscribe to my channel. Share different movies and videos every day.